some point in time it became necessary for scientists and medical professionals to develop what is called a standardized language for medicine. Different anatomical terms and body regions are all standardized. That way, scientists and medical professionals, like this guy here who gets really excited about his work, can communicate on the same level. This section will deal with that. Man, he is excited. Let's get to work. Now here, for example, we have a diagram of someone standing in what is called anatomical position. Anatomical position is a standard phrase that describes a person that is standing fully erect, their palms are facing forward, their feet are facing forward, and anything that is referred to as a directional term is referring to somebody standing in anatomical position. Next we have directional terms. First thing you will notice here is this person is standing in what is called anatomical position as I mentioned earlier. These terms distal, proximal, medial, lateral, and superficial and deep all are terms that are used to describe different areas of the body and also different anatomical structures. The term proximal and distal refer to limbs. Proximal means closest to the point of attachment. Distal refers to anything that is further from the point of attachment, such as arms and legs. For example, here's the elbow region. The elbow would be proximal to the wrist. Why? Because the elbow is closer to where the arm attaches. The wrist, however, would be distal to the elbows. Why? Because the wrist is further away from the point of attachment, and that's why it's referred to as distal. These terms medial and lateral refer to different areas of the body, especially the abdomen. Medial means closer to the midline. Lateral refers to further from the midline. Any anatomical structure that is closest to this line is referred to as medial, and lateral is further away. For example, the ears are lateral to the nose because the ear is further from this imaginary midline. The nose, however, is medial to the ears because it is closer to the midline. These terms on the bottom, superficial and deep, refer to body structures that are layered. Anything that is superficial is on top, deep is underneath. That's very common with muscles and we will cover those later. Lastly, we have these directional terms. Superior means the same thing as cranial. Inferior refers to caudal, which means tail. This is posterior, which means also dorsal. This is anterior, which means ventral. Now these terms refer to, once again, directional terms. These are ways to identify different areas of the body. Anything that is anterior is always in the front. Anything that is posterior is in the back. For instance, in the throat, everybody has a trachea, which is the windpipe. It is anterior to the esophagus. The esophagus is the canal that connects to the stomach where food and water goes. Superior and inferior are very common terms. On top of the heart, everybody has what is called a superior vena cava, large vein on top of the heart. Underneath that is the inferior vena cava, which is below the heart. So these are also very common terms, and you see at the bottom here it says lateral view, which is a side view, but these are also common terms that will help you with your study of anatomy and physiology.